What we're gonna need for this is a laptop or computer, a tablet or a smartphone, copy paper and a pencil. Let's start with the laptop. I went, the first thing I did is I went to Google and I found something that I wanted to trace. Uh, I found a hummingbird and then as you noticed, I turned off the lights in my room and I closed the curtains because I want the screen to be as bright as possible. I also have to adjust the light on the screen. As you can see here, I can go from very dim to very high. For this, for making it a tracing table, you want as much light as possible. You have to find where that setting is on your computer and turn it up all the way bright. Now, you find your picture. The, the computer is the easiest one because nothing is going to move around very much there. The first thing you wanna do is find the picture and the size that you want to trace. So if I want that one, it is very simple. I'm just going to place my sheet right there. You can see the hummingbird there. So now very lightly, so I don't damage my screen. What do you mean, Soto? Síganme los buenos. What? That means you barely touch the paper with a pencil so you don't hurt the screen. Then I'm gonna start tracing my bird. Tracing the general shape. If this is too difficult, I can always tilt the screen down a little bit more so that it's flatter. And if I move, I could see, I could find it again, you see? But my paper is resting on the computer, so I don't need tape or anything like that. And then, there it is. Now, tracing on an iPad or a tablet is a little more complicated. First, after you have to go and find the pictures that you wanna trace. I'm looking for giraffes, so I go to images and I find the image that I wanna trace. Say I like that one. I wanna look for an image of good quality, an image that is clear. Look at that one. I'll be able to see it really nice and clearly. Now, the problem with this is that if you wanted to trace this, and you put your paper over this, as you can see, it detects your finger through your through the paper, so it can move. What I like to do is I like to take a screenshot of it. Sometimes it helps. I know that for an iPad, you push the home button down here and you push the top button simultaneously at the same time and you go, book. And that takes a picture. You see the picture right here? And that picture is gonna go to your photos. So I can go back to my photos and look for that picture. And there it is. Now, another thing that may be useful is a little piece of tape. Because once you have your picture, you can make it larger, you can make it smaller, you can decide how much of it you wanna trace. You may wanna put a little piece of tape at the top of your paper so that it stays up here holding firmly see right there so that it doesn't move now you're ready to trace the problem is that even with the paper on top the screen can still sense any part of your hand and move the image so you need to have something else that is thick enough so that the image doesn't move if I just use my finger you could see the image is moving but if I put a little piece of cardboard like cereal box cardboard I set my image where I want it put my cereal box cardboard and I could rest my hand on that, it's not going to move around because it can't detect the cardboard. The cardboard is too thick, see? It doesn't go through the cardboard, but it goes through the paper by itself. It senses your finger. So I'll put my giraffe there. I'll put my cardboard right there. And very gently, I'll start tracing my giraffe without touching the actual screen. If I need to put my hand down and support it, I will do it with a cardboard. I'm gonna do a quick job here, 
just so that you see. The most important thing when you're tracing on a laptop or a tablet is to always be gentle. You don't want to damage your screen. And make sure to ask your grown-up for permission. I don't want to get you in trouble here. The process for doing this on a smartphone is pretty much the same as doing it on the tablet. Let's review. First, you find your picture. Second, you increase the brightness. You have to figure that out for your own device. I know for mine, I go, I swipe from the top right to the bottom left and this appears so I can increase the brightness. Next step, take a snapshot of it. Then go to your photos. Open up your photo, place your paper on top. Use a tiny piece of tape if you have to so that it doesn't move like that. And take a little piece of cardboard so that the image doesn't move around like it moves like this. And most importantly, trace it gently. Do not put pressure on the screen. It has to be super gentle, very gentle, barely touching it. And there you go, friends. I hope you enjoyed learning how to use your tablet or your computer to trace images directly from your device onto paper. All right, have lots of fun with it.